Kang needs knives. And this is part two of this huge unboxing from Cue Ball. So, um, been uh, really awesome so far. This is the Farron Forge Mini Archbishop. We actually have one of these. Thank you, Cue Ball. Um, yes, Carol loves this knife. Um, very snappy, very great because you have it has really fidgety action for such a little tiny knife. That's kind of the awesome thing about it. And it's perfect for Kara, you know, and the clip is such a good clip. These, they make, cause it's inset flat screw. It has everything you want in a good deep carry clip. The jimping on it's really nice. Um, these are in nitro V, I believe. Yeah. Nitro V steel. Ours is the carbon fiber version. This one's the green G10, which is a little bit more affordable than the carbon fiber. Let's get to the next one. I believe I have a full review up on that one. All right, next we have, oh yeah, okay. Just a little bit of uh, rubbing in the face, but guess what, ladies and gentlemen, I got my own coming. Thanks to somebody in my comment, uh, comments of Instagram, they came and told me where I could get one, and I have this version on the way. Um, but this is the Archbishop or the Farron Forge Archbishop 3.0. I just recently did an unboxing on it, so I'm not going to say too much. It's an amazing knife. Um, the detent is extremely well tuned on these. The flipping action, the break is so nice. Very, very nice. Now, I'm not left handed, but with his, um, you can do it left-handed. With the other one I have in, I can't really do it too good. This one I can, though. Just, you know, obviously the detent gets stronger. Awesome, awesome knife. I can't wait till mine gets here. Next. Oh, we got another O knife. Oh, yeah, this is that little chunker. The parrot. Ooh, ooh. That was a nice thwack. Now, you see how they did the jimping? All the way up and around. Exactly how, man, this is really good. Man, that is so easy. You don't have to go up from the front. Oh, I probably wouldn't anyways. You can go right from the top and just pull straight down like that. And it is super snappy. The micarta, Kaiser's micarta, very, very nice. Same stuff that's on the... Um, I believe it's the same stuff that's on the Kaiser Roach. Um, nice early lockup. Very, very smooth. Man, this thing is really smooth. Very fidgety, man. Like, can I do this? No, I doubt it. Uh, I, it wasn't easy. I literally used my thumb at the same time. All right. Deep carry clip. Not reversible. Um, we have T8 construction though, which is really nice. If you want an easy front flipping knife, man, this is and you want a small one, this is a good one. Um, it's just so easy. And this is gonna be great for this grip, you know, where you can cut boxes, go on top of stuff, you know, basically for just opening things up. This is gonna be perfect. And you get and man, that thing is snappy. Listen to that. It, it like has a thwack to it. 154 cm internal stop pins. Stupid smooth. This is awesome. This is a good one. Um, yeah, I seen it and I thought it was too ugly to buy. <laughs> but now I, I yeah, it, it's really good. I should have known Kaiser made it. Okay, we got another one. I don't know. Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, this is a Tucson. Oh, cool. This is a Tucson TS206. Six. Wait, I don't get it. Okay, let me just check. So it's a multi-tool. Okay, ooh, it's a Tonto multi-tool. 14C, 28M. Um, nice and comfortable in the hand for a multi-tool. Wow. Um, nice, uh, we have a, a stop, a half stop. Nice, uh, strong lockup. Well, not lockup, but you know what I mean for... Uh, you know, for a slip joint. Um, then we have scissors. I don't know how I like these scissors or not. Look at this. It has like a gear holding it back. That's what's giving the tension. Seems like they're nice. Uh, I don't know. Seems like they're kind of tight. Let me cut something. I mean, it cut. All right. So to close it, you'd have to close this, then go like that. 
Let me take out these other tools. What is this? That's just for a lanyard. There's something else in here. Oh, that's hard to get to. Uh, let me get something else. This is when a little nut comes in uh, play. You go like this. Okay. All right, I'm gonna stab my table. Dang it, I think that's what he meant by I dare you. I dare you to try to get the saw blade out. <laughs> So, okay, so this is just on a consistent slip joint. Very, sh man, look at, I don't know if I've seen a saw blade like this. Maybe I have, I don't know. This is wicked. Look at this thing. That is hyper aggressive. Like, wow, this thing is very aggressive. It looks, you know, you can see the, um, I'll spin it again so you guys can see the crisscross pattern. It is very aggressive. I wonder how good that would work. But I think that's all the tools. Let me make sure. I think that's all the tools, yeah. So we got a saw, scissors, and a blade. Pretty cool. Oh, no, we got other stuff back here. They're very tight. I can't get that out. I'm not trying to break my nail over this thing. Dang it. I, hang on. Okay, and then we have like this little awl back here on the back. So very, very strong on that one. I'll break your nail. We have what looks like T10s maybe on the pivot. Might be T8s. Let me just check. T10s on the pivot. Maybe a T9, but it's bigger than a T8. It's cool. It's cool. But man, the blade is, I mean, is cool the rest man it's hard to get them out but that's a very useful little blade this is taking entirely too long <laughs> we have a couple more all right next oh yeah the real steel megalodon hit your camera limited edition Ooh, that is smooth that is smooth so this is an indiana knives exclusive very, very smooth, nice detent, very nice in the hand. We have titanium frame lock, steel lock bar insert, nice, um, very nice access to the lock bar, very generous. Um, detent is very, very nice, very snappy. Um, ergos are really nice. This micarta is really good micarta. I like this. I love this micarta. They did a good job on the micarta. What steel is this? M390 steel. Um, I don't know. This might be multi-row bearings. I'm not sure. Real steel sometimes does multi-row bearings. That's the only reason why I'm saying that. Detent, man. When you know how to flick it, like, because you can obviously, you know, do a light or a, you know, light switch. You can do the push button. But when you know, like, how it likes to be flipped, Man, this thing is snappy. When you get it right there at the end and it's kind of like that, whoo, this thing pops out hard. This is cool. I like that. Very, very cool. Not a deep carry clip, but still very, very cool. I like the stone washed on the titanium too. Okay. All right, we have a couple more. Oh, this is a Tepe design, Tucson. I forget the number. This is the TS-134 with burl wood. Ooh, that is so comfortable. I believe I can link these down in the description. This one's in 14C-28M. They might have them in M392. Ooh, nice and snappy. Good detent for the reverse flick. Maybe not for the thumb flick. But it has a nice um, break on the detent. It almost feels like it has a uh, flattened detent ball. Uh, we have a drop point blade, basically a standard drop point blade um, with some belly. You got a nice choil, very, very comfortable. Um, little tiny bit of lock stick, but nothing to complain about. You would get very used to this thing. This wood is really nice looking though. 
And I like the 14C 28N. I think this is the first time I've seen Tepe use 14C. Got a decent edge for a factory. A little bit thicker on the grind, but nothing that, you know, you could still definitely, it's still a very useful grind. Um, Just a little bit thicker. Very cool. Last but not least, the, oh, it's another one of these. <laughs> another parrot. Uh, let's see how this one is. Very snappy. Very similar. Um, I think, ooh, 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 did you hear that? Very nice sound. I think the detail might be a little bit stronger on this one. Maybe not, though. Maybe it's just me. Either way, they're both very, very... Yeah, I think this one's a little bit stronger. 154 CM, stonewashed blade. Very, very smooth. Ooh, this one's even smoother on the drop, I think, because it's a stonewash. The other one will wind up being just as smooth after it breaks in. Super fidgety. Maybe it's me because on the micarta, I could grip it like this a little bit better because it's grippy. This is more slick. But, yeah, still... Basically the same thing, just G10. Very, very awesome. The Parrot. So there you guys go. Cue ball. Thank you again, brother. Love you guys. Peace.